Slow down, baby. The loving ain't going nowhere. I've literally made this video so many times and yet here I am. Hopefully this is the last one, but I kind of was like rambling before and I just didn't know exactly where my heart was going, but I feel like I know now. Uh, I kind of don't even know where to start though. So if you clicked on this video, I'm pretty sure that you are having conflictions as well. And this has nothing to do with the pandemic. This has nothing to do with whatever. Like this is this is like in your spirit. If you're thinking about this all the time, like you feel it too. <laughs> you feel it too, sis. Like welcome to the club. So <clears throat> before we get started, I just want to kind of give a little bit of background. Some people just don't get it. They just don't. So I always, since I was younger, like my grandma had her own beauty salon and I just really loved that. Like I loved just going to your own place and I used to always try to like sell the nail polishes in there or like create services or I'd be like with the girls sitting in the dryer like can I paint your nails or something and <laughs> with fake money and... I remember even selling like Yankee candles. I set up a station. And for me, that happened young. Like I grew up in the salon. But growing up, I had other aspirations. I never really wanted to see it. I never had like a dream job. And if I did, it switched so many times because I just, I couldn't think of something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And I couldn't fathom the idea of like working every single day for someone else. Like I don't understand that concept of clocking in and like you have to like, you're clocked. Like you're literally being clocked. Like you're, you have a boss and you have to ask them to go on your lunch break and your lunch break is only a certain amount of time. And it's not to put down someone else who does like that. Some people love structure. Some people love that, but just not me. And it's like crazy because I know that I don't, yet I still am not working as hard as I could to get myself out of that. Now, keep in mind, I just got a great job. You know, I graduated college last year. I got my bachelor's. And so right now I have my first like big girl job out of college and it's cool, but it's just not everything that I wanted it to be. I don't like that there's a cap on how much money I can make. And it's crazy because it sounds like I'm complaining about having a job, but that's really not it. Like I'm very grateful for it. Don't get me wrong. I worked hard to get this job. I worked hard to get my degree and I can't get this job without a degree, first of all. But I just know that that is not in my spirit. But what's crazy about it is that like I have these platforms. I, I worked hard to build my career in modeling for whatever it was. And it, don't get me wrong, it could have kept going, but I just stopped. Now, don't get me wrong, like modeling was, its, it has its own things where I just, maybe that wasn't my outlet that I was looking for in terms of entrepreneurship, but I definitely like that structure better. Like 1099 or like being, a, being your own boss, be, being an entrepreneur. That's what I like because I had the range to make a lot of money quicker. I will say that when you're modeling, or it's not about modeling, but when you're contracting like that, you can make bank in a day. You can make bank in a day. I've made three times my two week paycheck in a day doing 1099s. And like 
being exposed to that, I know it's possible and then some. Like I know that more can happen. And that's like what's crazy about it. And so it's like really conflicting growing up, especially without like entrepreneurs in their family. I mean, yes, my grandma did have her own salon, but she stopped that because she couldn't stay afloat, basically. And she went and got a normal job, normal job. Um, <clears throat> and when I say normal, I mean like W-2, hourly, salary, whatever. And for me, it's like, it's really confusing because, you know, I have these outlets, like I said, where I could literally not work a day again in my life. And my child doesn't have to, or future children don't have to. And yet I'm still sitting here like on my ass. That's what's so damn confusing about myself. Why do I do that? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a fear of like not thinking that I'll succeed or I don't know. Getting a job is very safe. And I will say that. And it's just not me. I don't really have like an end to this story <laughs> because I'm still working on it, but I just kind of wanted to come in here and ramble because it's been sitting heavy on my heart lately, especially like going to work and stuff. Like I've had my jobs for a couple months now and it's really cool. Like I said, I'm very grateful, but I just know that this is not in me. Like I want to do so much stuff. Like I'm so creative. I'm so talented. I just, and there's, and the thing is I haven't even tapped in like really, really, really like I just be playing with stuff and I see what I can do. And it's just like, dang, that's me. Like that's, that's really me. Like I don't aspire to do my job for the rest of my life. I never grew up. I didn't grow up thinking like, dang, that's a cool ass job. I would love to do that for the rest of my life. No, like I want to see life. I want to live life. I want to travel. I want to create my own schedule. I want to be my own boss. And whatever that's through is, is still what I'm trying to figure out. I know that I want to have my own business. I'm, I'm working hard on that. I've had my own businesses where I kind of started and I just kind of let it fizzle out. Not this time. And I have my YouTube channel. I've had this for five years and it's still just like, but like, I, I appreciate everybody who subscribed and, and watch my videos. Like that is so cool to me. But like, I know that y'all deserve so much more and I deserve to give y'all so much more. Like I deserve my credit and just building my platform. Like when I manifest things, when I write in my journal and think about the things that I want, I always say like, keep it a little bit broad, but I'm like, I love being able to build my voice. I want to grow my voice. Like I want my platform to grow and it's not trying to like be on some celebrity shit. Like I literally just want like, I see where my, I see where I could take it. Like I see my personality is this type. And then that like takes me into like for my YouTube channel. I look back on my old videos. I look back on some even some videos and I'm like, who is that? Like I just open up the video and I'm like, what the fuck? Like I'm sitting here like Typical YouTube, like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my. yeah. So, and then, um, and that is not me. That is not me. I don't know what about it that, like, like when you flip that record button on, or when you press that record button, it's just kind of like boom, like you just automatically do it. And that's like so annoying as well because I'm very confident in myself. And so, for me, it's like, why? Like, that's my thing right now. It's like, why, 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 why? Like, why do I do that? Why have I had my YouTube channel for five years and I'm not growing? Why am I not taking advantage of this? Why have I, why am I taking it for granted? There's people out here busting their ass. And I grow subscribers, like, not fast, fast, but they're constant. It keeps going. 
I keep getting comments. I keep getting views. And I half ass it, like in all complete honesty. I could be doing some dope content, but yeah, I just, I take, I take it for granted. Like, and I hate that. <laughs> I really hate that. Like I, I see like now that I have my first big girl job, I'm out of the city. I'm out of Jersey. I'm back home. Like this life is not a life where you can just have one income. You just can't like you can't. And then to even be living on somebody else's, like, oh, I'll pay you this. What? That puts a cap on your income, sis. Like, if you really want to be an entrepreneur, go be an entrepreneur. Like, start it. Do it. If you have a business idea, even if it's something that you see other people doing, just go ahead and do it. Like, that was stopping me. But like I said, now is the time. Like, this video right here is me declaring it. Like, now is the time to stop. Like enough is enough i'm not doing it no more i'm just about to like go full force go full force because like in this day and age there's too many things online to even be sitting here like wanting something and not going after it that's wild like there's literally teenagers who are millionaires, not even, it doesn't, even, it's not even about being a millionaire, but there's teenagers who are literally, they never have to work a day in their life because they seen this platform or they seen a platform, whether it's entrepreneurship, social media, um, trading currencies, it don't matter. They don't have a boss. They will never have a boss. They will get to live life like crazy. And it's like wild because like, I feel like for me, I'm about to be 25. I'm a late nineties baby. And so I was born in 96. The generation before me and the generation after me, two different things. And I feel like the people in our generation or our age group is like conflicting. We're conflicted because the one, the generation before us is like, we grew up thinking that college was everything. We grew up thinking that that was a lifelong, like that was your goal. You go to college, and you get a good job. But it's not like that no more. It was like that for them. Now we can't even buy freaking houses. We can't do nothing. Like our life is just like put into like a jail cell because we're because we're depending so much on this. But then the generation after us like all these 2000 and on babies, what? They be going to college, they do, but they be really tapping into some stuff. Like they really just be figuring stuff out and making a way out for them because it kind of like slowly progressed into like, why would I go to college when I'm, I'm already 17 making thousands of dollars a month already? Like, do you see how many people be buying, how many young people be buying houses and apartments? What? Like, that is so amazing. Like, it's amazing, but it's crazy, but it's amazing. And for me, it's like, who said I can't do that? Like, I don't want to play safe no more. I want to go after what I want to go after. Like, for me, modeling, to be a model, especially in, like, New York City or L.A., that was it for me. Like it, when I got that, like when I was working for that, nobody could tell me that I wasn't getting that. Nobody could tell me that I wasn't moving. Nobody could tell me no. An agency told me no, I went to the next one got signed. Like no one could tell me that. And I worked so hard for years. I was trying to build my craft, work on my confidence, understand who I was. And even after I got signed, I still worked on that stuff. And that same drive I had needs to be applied to something else. The next thing that I want to do in my life. Like, that is so crazy. I mean, I know I'm just rambling, but hopefully somebody can, like, you know, take this and apply it to themselves as well. And if you and if you clicked on this video, you're more than likely, like I said, being conflicted as well. You understand that your heart is in another place than what people are telling you to do 
or maybe than what you are telling yourself to do because we can talk ourselves out of stuff just as quick as somebody else so like i said take this video and this is the day i declare okay more youtube content for real for real i got stuff i can't even say I, like i'm scared to say it that's how much i'm passionate about. like i'm scared to say it because i don't want someone to like talk bad about it or whatever like i just want to do it i just want to do it i just want to do it like i'm not working for the rest of my life i'm not working for someone else for the rest of my life i will work hard for myself not not for anybody else not for the rest of my life no and like I said, I'm definitely going to be coming out with some new content and just kind of getting a feel for it. I was so stuck on making videos that people would like to see, but like some of it wasn't really me and gone are the days. Okay, <laughs> gone are the days. Whatever I want to post, that's me. This is my hobby. And if I make money off of it, cool. But I will see you guys in the next video. I'm about to head out. I'm about to go get something to eat because I'm so freaking hungry. And if you feel the same way, like, let's please leave a comment down below because I know I'm not the only one and I'll be talking to other people. And I love when I get to talk to other people who are into entrepreneurship and whatever. Like, that's all I watch on YouTube. So I will see you guys in another video.